afternoon, kids. Bonespur, the Chapalachian, coming to you from Grand Marais Harbor in northeastern Minnesota, right on Lake Ontario. Look at me. I'm a great laker on the Great Lakes. On our way to the Boundary Waters, going to do five days in the Boundary Waters canoeing. And I'm with some PhD students at, from Fuller Theological, actually D-Men students from Fuller Theological Seminary, and my friend, author, and theologian, uh, Tony Jones. And I'm doing my best to confuse these poor seminarians with my mix of charismania, uh, universalism, 12-step recovery, and, uh, and fundamentalism when needed. So uh, doing a good job so far of that. So uh, yeah, come along with us out here, the Boundary Waters Canoe Area. So we'll start tomorrow, all right? So thanks. All right, kids, what, what lake are we on right now? Is this Lake Ontario? No. Yes. Uh, what lake is this? Lake, lake Superior. No. No, not Lake Huron, not Lake Michigan, no. Not Skinny Atlas Lake, no. It's the greatest lake. lake. It's the greatest lake. It's, it's superior to all other lakes. There you go. We're on Lake Superior, not Lake Ontario. Jeez, Chris. I know. It's tough. I'm not Chris, I'm both for the Chapel Edge. You got that wall five from the Toronto Yeah. Yikes. Hours of sleep, baby. Nice. Yeah. The new pillow. Orange stripes. Forty dollars of joy for the week. Look at the man of God. Yeah. Was that, was that, I was looking at you. Bone spur the paddleation. The paddle. Yeah, the paddleation. <laughs> the paddleation. That sounds even better. The paddleation. Here we are. We're bunking it, aren't we? We're bunking it. Just bunking it. The voyageurs. We are going backwards the whole way. All right, kids, Bonespur, the Chapalachian, coming to, uh, to you from our first campsite on, what's the name of this uh, lake? Saginaga. Saginaga. Big Sag. Big Sag. Oh. Who am I with? My name's Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Who else? I'm David. David. Who else? Scott. And what's your name, sir? Wet Sock. Wet Sock. What a great tra trail name that is. And uh, Aiden is out catching fish for us right now, so... Uh, what did we paddle about? Nine Raisin miles? Toes. How many miles? Raisin we... toes. Nine or ten miles. Nine or ten miles, and but it was a gorgeous day. We did not get rained on, and uh, we're now enjoying a nice cup of camp coffee. Camp coffee. So uh, we're looking forward tonight. Tonight we're going to hear the next, um, probably the two greatest sermons ever heard. Uh, it's going to be. Um, sinners in the, hangry, in the hands of an angry God. Angry and a hangry Hang, God. And a hangry God. 
by Sherry and uh, Turn or Burn. David. In the fire right here by David. So we're looking forward to that tonight, guys. So uh, uh, we'll give you a report. All right. To have a fire, you need wood. To have wood, you need bone spur of the chapel etching. I retrieved this. Now, hopefully we won't be filming my injuring myself here. That's how you do it. Out here, in the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness. Morning, kids. Bone Spur, the Chapalachian, coming to you from our first campsite here on uh, Big Sag, I guess, is the lake. And uh, yeah, thunder. I hear the rolling thunder. How great thou art. Yes, on this Wednesday morning. So uh, the plan is to uh, canoe. We have three portages today, and uh, we're hoping to get to South Arm lake that's where we're hoping to get to so we'll see how we do so uh yeah 7 15 we're all packed up we're ready to go and uh good night's sleep tony and i in a four-man tent it was perfect so uh come along with us in the boundary waters canoe area tony have i mentioned that i hiked the appalachian trail last year what surprising All right, uh, kids, bones were here. The Chapalachian. Here, wearing my uh, Appalachian Trail hat. Not hat, but uh, buff. You know that I hiked the Appalachian Trail in 2021. Through hiked it. 2,193.1 miles. Harpers Ferry, West Virginia to Katahdin, Maine. Harpers Ferry, West Virginia to Springer Mountain, Georgia. Many stops in between. Where are we now? Bones were the Chapalachian. Oh, we're on. What lake is this, Tony? Esther. Esther Lake. The Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness. And we're at camp. So we've got laundry drying because it rained like crazy. We've been in camp for a long time. And we've got things. Fire starter. We got the fire starter. We've got. Yeah. My name is Wet Socks. Yeah. All right. Get that fire started, would you? Tony? Yes, sir. Get that cooked. All right? yes, sir. I'm, I'm hungry. Yes, sir. I'm hungry. I, bu I built up a great big appetite here today. Would you yes, get sir. that cooked? Yes, sir. David. Yes, sir. Give her some assistance that's actually helpful this time. <laughs> All right. Scott? You. Be sure not to cut your finger off again. Yeah. All right. This is Bonesburg, the general manager, coming to you from Esther Lake. Ready, break. Yes, I am of service. Potatoes, beautifully. Tony, what are we doing here? Cooking potatoes. All right, what would you like me to do? Please put them in the pot, Chapalachian. Spoons for the Chapalachian. <laughs> okay. You spilled one. Thank you for your ministry. Thank you for your ministry. You're welcome. I'm kidding.
An entire smallmouth bass gave its life for that amount of fish. Yep. Hmm. It's tough, I know. Yep. We could catch a bigger one. Aiden spent several hours of his life catching that much fish. Aiden, what'd you sure. catch the fish on? Uh, a plastic crawfish. All right. Let's take a look at something here. Look at these quads. <laughs> oh my goodness. Flex it, baby. Aiden, if, oh my gosh. Did, uh, All right. It's port Aiden. Portaging. Uh, Aiden. That's what yes. I'd like to present you your trail name. Okay. Quadzilla. I'll take that. All right. The Reverend Hunter on the Grand Portage doing double duty. He's not happy, joyous, and free, but he will be. I'll be free in a second. All right, we're on a 120 rod portage. A rod is 16 feet, which is the length of a canoe. And uh, I just carried a canoe. And uh, Aiden carried a pack and a canoe. Tony carried two packs. And so I'm going back to see if I can help the rear guard here. And uh, so we'll see you in a minute. Very nice hike, except it's not with a canoe on your head. It's a stream that's running by between two lakes here. It's very pretty. I'll show it to you in a minute. Here's Scott with the canoe. You're almost there, buddy. I'll go see if I can help them. Somebody's having a challenge here. Let me see if I can help. Just got to... <laughs> oh, man. What do you think of this portaging? Ooh, it's beautiful. Definitely difficult. However. However, you can do it. All right, let me take those uh, paddles for you. Okay. Let me go see if I can help him. I'll leave, uh, take, take a couple paddles. This is stream mixed with the portage. And then here's our man, David. Here he is, here. I'll take it. He is a fisher of men. He is the anointed one. He is the servant king. Ah, he is bone spur, the Chapalachian. Portage complete. Scott, what'd you think? Yeah, it's complete. <laughs> Aiden, look at Aiden. Aiden had the pack and the canoe. It's halfway between 90 and 180. He's the I man. did it. David, what do you think? Uh, exhausted. <laughs> but you did it. 135. 135, thank you. Good for you. All right, well, we made it. What is, lake is this now? This is the south arm of Knife Lake. All right, we made it to the south arm of Knife Net Lake. I'm exciting. Exciting. I'm exciting. <laughs> Can't talk, but I'm exciting. He is the balm of Gilead. He is the lion of Judah. There he goes.
a nice path to the biffy. Beautiful flowers. A lot of bees. A lot of bees. This is what's known as the Biffy in the Boundary Waters. And uh, I'm not going to lift that lid. I'll spare you that. But that's it. Right here in front of God and nature. God and creation. Right here on the Biffy. You just hope nobody walks down the trail. All right, here's the camp. It's coming back from the Biffy. Me and Tony here. Scott and David in there. Over here in the Z-Pax duplex is Sherry. And Aiden in the hammock. Paddle action. What do we have going here, Aiden? Nice fire. We Ooh. do have a nice fire. I will cut wood. If the wind is blowing like that. All right, we've got a big sunny spot here, and we've dried almost everything out. Sun's going down, but uh, there's still enough sun to help us out here. This is what it looks like in the boundary waters in a, at a camp. This is Jasper Lake. dock at sunrise Friday morning Scott what are you grateful for today uh, pancakes Sherry uh, being awake Aiden David. I still have to say pancake. <laughs> Pony. Pancake. Bones Brother Chapalachin. Brings his own. Green belly meals to go. I'm grateful for that.
All right, kids, here we are. We made our campsite at Siegel Lake. Uh, Tony took us through lots of detours. And we were told that don't talk while I'm trying to navigate. So we spent a lot of time not talking. Anyhow, this is what it looks like uh, at this campsite. We're uh, letting everything dry out. And Sherry's set up there. Fire pit. Well, even that guy. Coffee. At the island that we'd stop and talk to. People. He's like, that way and oh, that way. Well, here's, a, here's a paddler's lunch. Well, when I look at my compass, Keto. When I look at my compass, it's straight east. Wrap. Chicken. That's probably right. Hot mayonnaise. Why would I go Jeez. down and to the right when I should go up and Tabasco down? and almonds. Good. All right. And what's your name, young man? Aiden. Where are you from? Edina, Minnesota. All right. And where are we? We are on Seagull Lake. We've we've had a long journey today, shorter than our journey yesterday, but we've arrived at the site and we are having some lunch and uh, chillaxing after the long paddle across Seagull. Beautiful. What do you like best about me? Uh, your hat. I like your hat. That's, uh, that's amazing. Thanks, Aiden. Absolutely. All right, continue on our tour of our campsite here. Can we see your finished product there? Wonderful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Tasty, very tasty. Mm -hmm. He's going to start, uh, a chicken wrap trail side uh, restaurant <laughs> and pancakes in the morning right. and, with and, walnuts. Chicken, and with walnuts and chicken wraps at, and then what did you make last night oh yeah cheesy mashed potatoes at night yeah. that's gonna be the menu that's and, right and metamucil for dessert you're gonna get rich <laughs> and people ask me what's the recipe exactly. I'm gonna this tell is them, not my hat <laughs> yeah. I found oh this oh my hat. gosh you can't remember those and now it's mine <laughs> excellent <laughs> What's that for? What's Possession for a, is nine tenths of the law, correct? I'm not sure if it's legal, but it's mine now. Because, she yeah, now. because of drinking? course, she works. This is water in a camelback. Right? Right. So pretty good. good. <laughs> How's this? <laughs> it's fine, it's fine cuisine, eh? It's actually pretty good. Good. Yeah, it's pretty tasty. All right, you like your campsite? Perfect. My bed is set up, ready for my nap. Excellent. All righty. All right, we'll continue. Here's where Tony and I have set up our tent. The rain fly was wet, so we're drying it off. And here's where Scott and David are. All set up. Nice setup. All right, that's our camp. Show you the view from the front. All right, here's where we launch from and arrive to. Lots of islands. We were just going in and out of the islands. And breezes blow really stiff from the southwest, and that was at our back for most of it until Tony got us lost. And uh, but then we had to paddle into it. But we made it. There seems to be a rule out here, too. When you see other paddlers, you don't ask them for directions or advice. That seems to be the rule, I guess. No matter how clueless you are about where you are, you just don't ask them. So, this is a nice spot. This is very sad right here. Somehow, and this is the only toilet paper the group has remaining, uh, it got all wet. So, hopefully, the sunshine will do its thing. And good thing boats were the Chapalachian brought his own toilet paper and pipes. So, I'll be okay. And uh, hopefully, everybody else will be as well.
kids. Bonespur, the Chapalachian, here on dish duty. You dig a hole, and then you put it down there, and you stand here and you film, and you watch these guys wash it. That's how you do it here in the Boundary Waters canoe area. Guys, you gotta talk about your journey. How do you feel about what you're doing? Feel good. We went a long way. I'm uh, a lot of fun. You know, I spent uh, I spent last year on the Appalachian Trail. I may have mentioned. Are you serious? Yeah, and 2,193.1 uh, oh miles. Uh, not once did I do this. Yeah. Yeah. And I paid to be on this trip. I paid to be on this trip, and I'm getting to do this. What a blessing. Mm. David, how do you feel? Me? Yep. He's the servant king. This is for Chris's YouTube video, so gotta be entertaining. I, I normally don't do this. I'm not even at home. <laughs> He's doing what we call the Asian squat. Oh no. So is Aiden. It's on the record now. Yeah. So it's uh, it's humbling. Mm -hmm. That's in a good way. Mm -hmm. so, and I got to know, spend time and. Uh, Work together with these guys, mm -hmm. which is amazing. Oh, he's just saying that for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> on top of the Palisades over Seagull Lake. We came up that way today. And then we went through all of this. I just heard your back crack. Then we turned around and came back here to get to our campsite, which is around the corner here. It's a great view. It's very Maine-like. No, Maine is Minnesota. -like.
All right, this is proof of life video. Today is whatever day it is. My name is Bonespur the Chapalachin. I have been held hostage by the Reverend Hunter, Dr. Tony Jones for the past five days, but I'm still alive. Proof of life video. State your name. David. He's back. Yo! Proof of life video. State Scott. your name. No uh, Scott. 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 No Have your captors treated you well? Yes, I've been well fed and there's been some semblance of understanding. I think you have Stockholm Syndrome. That, that could be. <laughs> Proof of life video. I'm alive. What's your name? I made it. My name is Sherry. Sherry, where do you live? California. California. Were your captors uh, reasonably got fair some, to you? Yeah, we got some good food. Caring? I had, they were caring, yeah. Mm -hmm. Were they I, empathic? Empathetic? They were not empathetic. No. no. Not no. to my pain, no. no. All right. Yeah. Glad you made it. I made it, I'm alive. Proof of life video. State your name. Aiden. Where are you from? Minnesota. All right. What do you think of your captor? Oh, uh, he's, uh, he's very hardcore. Doesn't have much feeling. He's uh, kind of like a, a robot. Other than that, he's a great guy, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, good. Thanks. All right, trust me, kids. If you're going to be held hostage, do it with these one, two, three, four other people. And then, if you're going to have a captor... Jeez, don't no. sit on the rods. Yes, you did. Thanks. Thanks for correcting me once more, captor. Here's a question that's never been asked of me before. Tony, what did you just ask me? Have you ever had pickled herring? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Well, this is the Elf brand. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let me try it. What do you do? You put it on a cracker? Mm -hmm. On a Triscuit, Triscuit, delicious whole wheat Triscuit. Made only by Nabisco. Raw fish <laughs> soaked in vinegar. Raw fish smoked in vinegar. What could be possible? Good for you, along with highly, highly processed wheat. It's got a lot of... That's really good. You like it? Yeah. I love it. That is good for you, believe it or not. It actually is good for you. The vinegar really, uh, really, oh my God, I just saw something here. In wine sauce? Oh my gosh, that just means vinegar, dude. Do you know what vinegar is? Why do I want 15 of these all of a sudden? <laughs> all right, kids, that'll do it. Back in San Antonio. As you can tell, I've got my Dead & Company posters on the wall here. And uh, for those of you who don't realize, I did hike the uh, Appalachian Trail last year. 2,193.1 miles. There's a wooden map of it. At any rate, this Bounty Waters trip was fantastic. It was... Uh, wonderful people uh, and just a great time i highly recommend uh, going out with the reverend hunter the reverend dr tony jones anytime you get the opportunity because uh super guy super outdoorsman and that's the way to do it uh, so i look forward to doing that sometime in the future so thanks for sticking with me on this video it was uh, a long one uh, but i hope you enjoyed it so may your eyes be filled with wonders, may your heart be full of joy, may your footsteps be firm, and may your paddle strokes be strong as you walk with God. Amen.